off about the halftime adjustments, what the message was after that first half, and how you guys came out and put it together in the second half. Yeah, the message was play to our standard. That first half was not our standard. And the second half was a little better, but we need to keep going, be more locked in this week, and come out next week playing at our standard. Why do you think that was? Um, I think it was a lack of focus with our eyes, getting too antsy uh, for the run. We expected a lot more run than they gave us. Um, and our eyes were off, but in the second half, get our eyes right, get our jaws punch out when we read pass. Yeah, what were they doing with the, the plays and formations to make execution such a struggle um, in communication? They would, they would go heavy and condensed to widen out and go deep. And they had uh, guys expecting, like, when they go heavy, you expect to run, and somebody would slip out and or play action pass and roll out, and then they would have a guy on the backside leak out late. Yeah. What, what did you see on Vernon's interception on that play? Oh, he... See, he stayed back. We, we were in uh, a coverage where he was sitting right there, and instead of going and running, he let that crosser come to somebody else, to me, on the backside, and he stayed home. Sorry. And uh, he made the play when the quarterback thought he was going to run. Regarding the focus, uh, Momo, do you think a part of that was due to Alabama being on the schedule next week? Um, no, I think it was in part uh, playing a, like a team that's not a Power 5 team. And, and they came out ready to play. And we needed to come out regardless of who we were playing up, Alabama, SIU, ULM, Auburn. We need to come out the same playing at our standard. It doesn't matter who we play, play at our standard. What you mentioned some of the guys coming out of the backfield. Do you feel like it was communication addressed at all, especially early? Um, I, don't, I don't think it was communication issues. Like, I know on one play, uh, the, that play 45 had uh, the deep ball and the play action pass. Um, someone said, I got 45. Then he got antsy on the run and took his eyes off him. So it's just, it's mainly eyes. We communicated well, but eyes have to be on point. Do you, do you feel like the interception and those turnovers late were kind of the turning point where you guys could kind of take a breath and? No, I think the turning point was coming out of half. Yeah. Like the first, the first time we came out of half, and we were just trying to play at our standard. And turnovers, interceptions, fumble recoveries, that's our standard. We we want to be a turnover. We want to start the turnover train. It started. That's when mm -hmm. it started, but. The, the move to what makes it so hard? What, what makes it so hard to adjust during the half? You know, before you get a chance to kind of go in and, and, and take a breath. Um, I wouldn't say it's it's uh, like I would say it's it's harder because in halftime, Coach McGill gets us together, and really there were less in these past two games there were less adjustments and more just him talking to us about where we are and where we need to be, and then we want it. We have a lot of guys that want it really bad. And when you, when you hit that reality at halftime, when he tells you you're not playing where you need to be playing, it turns a lot of guys on. We just need to figure out how to come out like that at the first kickoff.